Hi, uh, my name's Neil, I'm the owner of Popular Personal Training and the creator of Habit Pal, which has been designed to help you make smart food and beverage choices. We want to retrain your brain, take it off autopilot, uh, so that the choices that you make um, are healthy, and eventually you'll start making those choices, uh, the healthy food and beverage choices on autopilot. Um, but you've never really failed uh, anything unless you've completely given up. So whatever you've tried in the past, Weight Watchers and Slimming World, don't worry about it. You're here now, ready to try again. Uh, and, you know, it doesn't matter wh whether, you, you know, things that they've tried in the past haven't worked for you. Uh, the important thing is that you're here now. So don't look too far in the rear view mirror and worry about what's happened in the past. And don't look too far, or, uh, too far forward into the future either. Concentrate on what you can do now. And uh, I want to explain to you the concept of going all in. But before I do, um, I'd just like to um, suggest this to you, that you're going to need to learn to get being uncomfortable. And you're going to learn to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Uh, and you've done this many, many times in the past. So if you can remember as far back as your first day at school, if you can remember your first exam or your first day in a new job, uh, and if you can remember, for example, your first day as a parent, any one of those things, uh, you were way out of your comfort zone, uh, but you got all through all of those and, and they're probably standard practice for you now. So right now you're out of your comfort zone with your food and drink choices that you need to make um, in order to hit your health and fitness goals, whether they're going to be losing weight or building strength, whatever they are, um, the chances are that you're here because you need to make some changes. Now, whatever you've tried in the past, like Weight Watchers or Slimming World, maybe hasn't worked for you in the long run. Um, and the failure of, you know, not wanting, of not hitting your goals makes you want to go back into your comfort zone. So I'm going to repeat that you need to learn to be comfortable being uncomfortable with your food and drink choices. And if you pers persevere with it long enough, you will start to make smart food and beverage choices on autopilot. So let's apply the concept of going all in just to make sure that you hit your goals that you've set yourself. Um, you've got to persevere with your food choices and stay disciplined because um, there is so much salvation on the other side of doing so. Uh, and if you really want this to be the time that you're going to succeed, you will need to go all in. Now, let's explain this concept of going all in. And one of the things um, that stops us going all in, especially something on your diet, is that we often give ourselves an out. Um, so firstly, uh, you, know, we'll, you know, we'll delay the start of a diet and when we do start a diet, um, we always say, oh, but you know, I've got this coming up, so I can't really stick to the diet then. So you start a diet tomorrow or next week, so straight away you've not really assigned enough importance to the fact that you want to lose weight or you want to eat healthily. Um, and then, you know, you say, well, I can't, I can't stick to my diet next week because I've got stag do or a hen weekend or a wedding or a party or I'm going out socialising. Um, and then you start the diet on a Monday but you're not prepared, you've not been shopping and you eat the food that you've got rather than the food that you know you should be eating. And you say, oh, well, do you know what, I didn't really succeed today so I'll start next week. And before you know it, you put it all off week after week. So you never really commit to changing your diet in the first place, which demotivates you, which makes you think that you can't do it. But you can. Um, and then furthermore, we're bombarded in social media about a man who was really successful and he lost six stones on this plan and then a woman who lost 10 kilos in six weeks on this plan. Um, you know, we use this you know, type of transformation in our studio all the time because we do have clients who do use, who do get this kind of, uh, uh, achieve these kind of results. But they do it through a plan that I want you to follow. Um, and too many of us will see the, the, the man who loses six weight or six stones and, and the, the woman who loses 10 kilos in six weeks and say, I want a piece of that. Um, but then, you know, you might sign up to however they did it, so Weight Watchers or Slimming World. Um, and the, the problem is, is you don't see uh, all the hidden things and sacrifices they had to make. All the times they have to say no to certain foods, and all the times they had to take themselves out of their comfort zones until they were comfortable being uncomfortable. All the glasses of Prosecco, or the pints of beer, and all the party food that was left on the table. Now part of the problem is that, you know, too many of us are looking outwards for a solution, and lucky to copy other people's successes, rather than looking inwards. Um, you know, you as an individual, you are the most powerful human being on earth, so please hear this. It's totally up to you. It's not for somebody else on the outside to do it for you. Uh, and if you believe in yourself, you're capable of doing amazing things uh, and making healthy food choices. Uh, and that's gonna be a far, far easier concept so long as you go all in. 
it's up to you uh, to make the decision to go all in. And it's about you going all in on you and you doing it for yourself. So you need to assign enough importance to the goals that you just set. If they're really important to you, you'll go all in. You know? So ask yourself this question. How much do you really want to retrain your brain into making smart food choices so you'll never need to diet again? How many pieces of cake are you prepared to go without? How many glasses of Prosecco? How many nights out? How many takeaways are you prepared to sacrifice? If you decide to go all in, we'll give you everything else you need to make sure your health and fitness goals. The rest is up to you.